Hello, hello, this is Neta, and I'm going to show you in this little tutorial how to host your own webinars for free on your own WordPress website. It's super, super easy. Like I said, it's 100% free. And although there are other paid platforms that a lot of people are using, this is what I've always used and many, many other people use it. And I personally think that it is the friendliest platform for the users, so for people that are attending your webinar. And the reason I think that is, is because they don't have to download anything, no app is needed. They just need to go straight to the link you give them on your website and as many people as you want uh, can attend it it's super super easy once you know how to work it i don't see any reason why you should use anything else especially if you're on a budget and just starting out so let's start the first thing we need to do is you need to go to your youtube account now this is a little tricky unfortunately i can't show you exactly how to set it up because apparently it depends on where you are and what kind of YouTube account, Google account you have, because I've seen cases where what I'm showing you here does not appear on your page. And unfortunately, I think in some places this feature is restricted, but I'll show you uh, how it works when every feature is available. So this is how I do it. I go to YouTube. I never know where to find it. I go to my channel. I then go to video manager. And this is what I'm looking for. Okay, this dashboard on the left where it says live streaming, I, I click live streaming. And what we're gonna do is an event, not a live stream, not stream now, but an event. Okay, so you click on events and this is the page you need to get to, okay? You, we don't have anything planned yet. We are going to start one now. And this is the point where not everyone actually sees this. So unfortunately, I don't know what the solution is if you don't have access to it. Maybe you should Google that, but you should get to this page where you can do an event, a live stream event, okay? Next thing we need to do is click on new live event. Now we're gonna say here, sample webinar event, okay? Just now you can say today and now, or you can change it to a different time. It really doesn't matter so much because it's not going live until you give the okay to go live. So I always just do today and leave it at today and now. Here you can write the description. People will see that later on, but you can edit it. I leave it on quick and public and I click go live now. Don't worry, you are not going live really. You will know when you're going live, okay? Ready to go? Yes, we're ready to go. So hopefully with this screen caption, you can actually see what just opened here. What happens is you get this, oh, hello, you now see me. Wait, hello, hello. So you want this Google Hangouts page to open, window to open, and all we need now at this point is to go down here where it says links, we're gonna click on links and we're gonna grab the link at the top here, okay? This YouTube shortcut, okay? Now you can even close this. So you can prepare all of this hours and days even before your actual event. So once I close this, nothing is lost. We can still open this window whenever we want again by clicking start hangout on air again, okay? And this does not mean you're live. You will only go live just a second, let it load. You will only go live when you yourself click here, start broadcast, okay? Until then, you can open and close these windows and not worry about anything. So I'm gonna close this one. And now that we have the link that we wanted, we're gonna go to the website, okay? So whether you have a preset page, if you have my product or if you've created one, all you need really is a page where you can embed the link, okay? So I have a preset webinar page that I've created for my customers. And here we have this placeholder of Oprah and Ellen, but we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna go to the back end. In my case, I'm using DV as the theme and page builder. So it may look different on your back end, but the basics are exactly the same. So in our case, Oprah and Ellen are in this box here where it says Google Hangout URL. So I'm just clicking on that. This is a video module. So if you're using another theme that has some video modules, uh, use that. If not, you can just use a text box and put this link in. Okay, so instead of this, this is the one that is Oprah and Ellen. I'm going to paste the one that we just grabbed from the Google Hangouts and I'm going to click save and exit. I'm gonna update. 
and I'm now going to show you the page, show you how it looks like. So what we're going to see now is how the page looks like before you actually go live. So again, you can prepare this a while back or on the day that you're doing the webinar in the morning. So this is what people will now see. They will see, it will say the name that you gave it, sample webinar event, and it will put your default picture from your account, but you can change that. So in our case here in DV, all I need to do is go here and where it says image overlay URL, you can grab any image. We'll just put this just for the example update i'll refresh it so you see what happens so now we're going to see this guy's face of course you can write on it the name of your webinar and the time you'll go live or whatever you want to write there now people will see this and if they happen to click on it let's say before you're uh, logged in before you started your live event this is what they will see it will say waiting for you know the person that's doing it so that's fine and it will go live once you go live okay so this is how we embed this and that's how easy it is when you are ready to to go live you go back here you click start hangout on air and you click start broadcast wait just as a reminder once you click start broadcast, it will go live. Again, I'm going to close this. It will go live on your page because it's all connected, right? We grab, it will go live here, sorry. There is a delay, about 20 seconds, I wanna say. So keep that in mind when you're doing your webinar that people cannot respond in the chat box. It takes them a little bit of time to hear what you actually have to say. Once you are done, and you will click that stop broadcast on that window of Google Hangouts, you'll, write, you'll click stop. It will automatically upload it and save it to YouTube and the replay will show up here automatically. You don't have to do anything. If you don't want it to show up here, either remove this completely or in the back end, once you have the video, you can turn it, I'll show you uh, my other videos. Once it is available and uploaded here, you will see it in the list of videos. You can change it and you can go to info and settings and you can change it from public, for example, to unlisted or private. Okay, that's if you don't want other people to see it. So that's how you set up the, the part of the webinar itself. I do wanna give you a little bit of extra bonus here. If you noticed, I always add a chat box here. Again, it's a free feature. You just go to chatwing.com. So I opened this window here already. So these are my chat boxes. You just register for free. And then you go to live chat box and you create a new chat box. I'm not gonna show you everything, but basically let's just say Sam, right? Let's just create sample webinar and whatever, I'm gonna put my name here. Uh, all these upgraded features, you don't really need them, it's fine, you click save here. You then go, let me see, it's one of those things I re remind myself each time. Yes, you go to use chat box, and you have these URLs, but that's not what we want. We wanna to go to embedded options, and you can change the width of the box if you want to make some changes there and this is the one you're going to grab this is the code you're going to grab uh, the iframe one okay you grab this one you go back to your website and in our back end here this is where i positioned the chat box and you will see i already have a code here but you will just paste your own code save and exit update the page and a new, I'm not gonna, I didn't put it here, but a new box, sorry, here on this page, a new box, a fresh box will, will show up here and you can just type here and people can type here again, no need to register, no need to do anything. So it's very, very friendly. You can tell people, you know, I'll be online in 10 minutes or drop links here. While you are doing your webinar, you can use that chat box. You can actually open your own chat box on a different page, like so. That's what I do usually. So when I'm during a webinar, I have this open. It's easy for me to see what people are writing me and it's easy for me to respond straight in this page. So that's it. I hope it's all clear and you know how to use 
Google Hangouts through YouTube to host your own free webinars. Let me know if you need anything else. Ciao, ciao, bye.